Shiva? Yes, sweetheart. Um, what would it take for for you to like clean the house and you know? Clean the house? Like house drones? Oh come on, sweetheart. I mean cleaning the house is not my thing. Everybody got what they're good at. And cleaning the house, washing dishes, all those things are about not my thing. I'm a socialite. I mean, I love to take pictures. I love to, to, to comment, you know, fight people, fight people on the internet. I, I, I just love to do all these things. They're just so excited. I, did, I, did I tell you I, I was fighting somebody on Instagram? Guess what? It was a fake account. <laughs> did I also tell you that I commented on, on somebody's face and the person almost wrote some nasty things about me? Oh my God, you need to see all the things I wrote. <laughs> doesn't mean you can just wake up one morning and send us out. Madam, we are not just quitting you just like that. We gave a notice to all the tenants here three months ago to vacate the premises. Are you in any way insinuating that you did not get the notice? What notice? Well, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. But we said you were noticed three months ago. Oh, notice! All I'm saying is that it's not just nice. You don't just send people out of places. I am not sending you just like that. Don't say I'm sending you like that. We gave you notice to put this place. Silly, what's going on? Listen, this man works with a company that currently owns this building, and they're saying that we should leave by the weekend. How? Okay. These rich people sell. Sometimes they just act like it's not the same blood that we have flowing through our veins that is flowing through their own. Where do you people want us to go? Madam, I totally understand you. I share your sentiments, but you see, there is nothing I or my company can do about it. We paid compensation to all the tenants here through the formal land. Oh, please leave that in great. Please. Look, my concern now is that we don't have anywhere to go. Sweetheart, you're even making it sound really easy and soft. Oga, we did not receive anything from anybody. No compensation, nothing. We do not have anywhere to go to. And as long as we do not have anywhere to go to, we cannot leave this place. See, we we'll find somewhere to go. And that is fine now. Please come and go. Please come uh, and go. Uh, 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 hey, 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 listen, no, 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 listen, listen. Just leave. Please, please, please. Just leave. Why can't you just come and tell us to leave where we'll be walking? No, 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 no. Just go, please. Go, go, go. Bye. Thank you. What? Ah, that man is just a messenger no, now. No, 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 no. I had to do that. He has to go back and give a clever message to whoever sent him. It's not fair now. It's not nice. <laughs> Please. Compensation we did not see. Like one naira. One naira. That no, 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 no. man. Sorry to disturb you, sir. Ms. Shiba is calling your line. Can you please ask at least one? Anka. You know, I hate it when I'm being interrupted in my writing sections. I know that's sad. But she's your fiance. Um, I find that I have this way to approve. Um, please just put them somewhere. I'll make sure I go through them later and sign them, okay? Okay. Thank you. 
What do I tell Ms. Shiba? Tell Shiba I'm writing and um, I need my space now. I don't want to disturb. I'll get back to her later. Okay, sir. Thank you. How did it go? I think we're going to have a major problem with some of the tenants in the building. What do you mean? Well, for we'll starters, the two women in the hairdressing salon, I think they're a major problem. They're insisting on staying there until they get a new place. I tried to reason with them, but they seem really determined. You know, change is difficult, Obed. It takes more than moving from one place to another to really understand change. I will go with you tomorrow, so I'll talk to them. I doubt they want to listen to anything you have to say. Yeah, I'm not about that. Whatever happens, I'll go with you, though. No problem. Alright, thank you. I'll see you later. Why the hell you were not picking my calls? I called you severally and you did not pick my calls. Why? Because you were in the office? James, I'm talking to you. I am talking to you and you're looking at some stupid people walking all around. And these two principles will win the heart of kings. So what is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to lecture me or something? Why were you not picking my calls? Just give me one good reason or one thing that you were doing in the office that stopped you from picking my calls. Just pick my call, that's it. At least you could have just heard what I wanted to say. I'm talking to you. James, you have to answer my question. Why the hell? Eh? You have to answer my question. Why the hell does your, your, your sole call secretary have the password to all your documents and I don't have any? Why? Have you ever asked me for the password to my phone? No. Well, that doesn't mean I shouldn't have it. Look, Franca works for me. And apart from the fact she's quite good at what she does, she organizes my meetings and she stands as a publicist to me as well. So why must Franca be the one to have all the password and everything? <laughs> Who are you expecting me to hire? Do you even know my favorite suit color? You don't even know my shoe size. 
Look, Shiva, it's late. I'm tired. I'd rather just, just relax. Please, thank you. Fine. Hi. Uh, hi. Hello, I'm James. I, I am actually from the construction company. Guys, um, meant to be demolishing the building, so I came by to um, let you know that. I'm, I'm sorry. Were you not the one who came here yesterday? Yes, I was here yesterday, but today I am in the company of my supervisor, so he can explain things better to you. Okay. Madam, we absolutely understand your grievances. But well, at least we've been lenient enough to have given the three months um, notice. And also, we did pay a full compensation to every tenant in the building, even though we're not supposed to pay. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Lisa. Well, this is Lisa. We run this place together. Hi. Yeah. Good day. Lisa, this is James from the construction company. Oh, good day. It's good you're here. Hi. Um, are you the boss? I'm mean, No, no, please. I am the supervisor for claims and compensations. Oh, oh. Well, that's good enough. Um, sir, you know, most of the tenants in this building have been living here for so long. Like, for so many years. And some of them have lived all of their lives in this compound. Yes, we as tenants of a salon can back it. That's easy. But what about those that have built all of their memories here? What happens to them? Yeah. Uh, I, I think you have a point. Because most of the tenants were actually born here and grew up here. So if we demolish the place, they obviously won't have no place to go. Exactly. Exactly, exactly my yeah. point. I'm sure we can do something about it. I will speak to my boss in regards to that. Oh, thank you so much for understanding. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. What just happened here? What do you mean what just happened? I, I told him my mind and he bought it. That is what happened. <laughs> Scare you won't believe everyone. Just like that. Well, it's, it's, it's true now. Look at Mama, Mama, you know. I think I've met that lady somewhere before. I think it was at the gas station the other night. Yeah. Oh. You mean the girl, the lady with the girl in the wheelchair? Yeah, it was at the gas station. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I did not know you were watching. 
there's one thing I learned from you. You care a lot, a lot about people that care for people that don't have the means. That's a good one. I'm glad at least I'm making a positive impact in your life. Somehow. <laughs> what a friend's ball. Good. It was hard, the gas station. It was hard. But this is total madness. How can I be stalking someone that don't even know my name? And where is she, anyways? just a fan of that game. Do you like it? I love it when I see them playing during break in my school. Really? Even on TV. Wow. I enjoy it. Do mm. you think I can ever play football? Um. Listen. I want you to know something about life. In life, it's not everything that you want, you get. If it is God's will that you will play football, then you will definitely, definitely play football. So what's God's will for me? Um... God's will for you is that you will have life and have it abundantly. His thought for you is to give you a future and a hope. I wish mom was alive so she would watch me play when that day comes. Are you crying? Don't cry for me because God and mommy love me and you too. Sorry to disturb you. Your two o'clock appointment is here. Okay, please send that in. Eh? I will. But I'll make it right here. Not to me, it's I hear you, madam. I'll be a good boy. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Walter. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. I'm a huge fan of yours. Thank you very much. Please do sit down. Thank you. How may I help you? Um, a whole lot. For example, giving me a career push by granting me an exclusive interview. Um, I've actually seen a whole lot of exclusive interviews, but um, I want something very, very real. Like what exactly? Um, 
like who you're dating, for instance, how you spend your weekends. Um, is it true you own 40% shares in four international banks? Oh, no, no. I'm not that rich. I'm just um, comfortable. And um, what do you intend to... Um... Uh, are you angry, sir? Oh, no. <laughs> Please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we hear your father actually left billions of naira in his vault for you before he died. How true is that? <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> That's a very interesting question. No doubt my father was a very wealthy man. But he also did believe in one thing as well, that every man should actually work for what they call theirs. And whatever I have today are all proceeds of my own sweat. Hmm. I see. Beautiful. Um, as a person, sir, what um, adjective best describes you? Indomitable. I think that best described me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's a book you wrote um, some few years back. Trust no woman with two breasts. What actually inspired you? Did any woman actually betray you? It's all based on a true story. A woman actually tore my heart into pieces. And till today, I've still not recovered. I see. Um, so, what is your current relationship um, status? Single, very single and not surgeon. Okay, uh, um, okay, okay. Um, but what was this um, thing we hear um, that is going on between you and, um, and Shiva? It's all unconfirmed media gossip, obviously. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, sir. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you for this interview. Really, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but well, you know, most people prefer to grow natural these days because of all the high cost of firm hair and all of that. Because they say it's good really the shampooing and the rest. Yeah, but what about the the box thing, you know, the steaming, all of that? All that stress that comes from here. I think you have a box. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, Madam Lisa. Yeah. Can I see for a minute? Oh. Okay. I hope there's no problem. Oh, not at all. Please um, I have a friend of mine that came back from the UK and he has this space he's renting out. Okay. And um, I just thought of you um, if you're interested in it. Oh, wow. Seriously, so where is the place? Um, it's right by the Polytechnic. It's a good spot for your business. Really? Mm. Um, but did he tell you how much it would cost? Uh, he's my man. Just leave that to me. If you like the place, I'll speak on your behalf. Wow. Um, okay, can I, I'm kind of busy now. I don't know if you can wait for me. Or maybe you go and come back. When you come back, we can go um, and see the place. How about I just um, wait? I'm not busy today. You don't mind? No, not oh, at all. Okay, no problem. Just... Uh, 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 wow! Oh my God. You like it like this, so do you want yeah. me to I think you should just keep it this way. I'm so sorry, I kept you waiting. It's 
just that weekends are very busy for us and I don't want to miss out on any of the whole business. Sorry about that. It's all right. I totally understand. Um, you see, he wanted to use the place as a food court. Oh. Initially, then decided to now rent it out. So the place is all painted with its own washroom wow. and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, can we go see it? Because seeing the same is believing. I guess so. Can we see that? Sure. Uh, wow. I think I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will. I like the place. It's really nice. This is a place you can sew in your dream. Like, it's a good place you can build yourself. I really like it. Really like it. I know you're gonna like it. Yeah. Um, so, how much is it going for? It's $250 per month. Uh, $20. I'm surprised also. Oh, that's too high now. Yes, I know this place is a good place and it's in a beautiful location, but $250 a month. I'm sorry, I can't afford that too. Why don't you just reduce it? I'm very sorry, madam, I can't. I'm actually giving out this place because I, I need money for something very urgent. Um, okay, no problem. Thank you. Ross, sorry, I have to go. Madam, please just wait. Just wait a minute. Can you excuse us for a minute? He's my friend. You just tell me how much you can afford and I'll force him to accept it. Well, the thing is, I, I just think the money is too high. It's not even like we have any money at hand ready for anything like this. Um, I think I, I, I don't really want to do this. And besides, I felt obligated to come with you because of the effort you put in. Um, I, 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 I can't do this. So is that something I can do to help? No, no, you've done enough already. I mean, we'll sort ourselves out. We still have two months. We'll be fine. Sorry, I, I have to go now. Thank you very much. Can I just uh, see you off then, please? No, you don't have to. I don't worry about it. I'm sure you have a home to go to. Certainly. All right, then. Um, I'll give you a call tomorrow if something comes up, okay? <laughs> a call? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Is this a trick to get my number? Because you and I know you do not have my number. I'm <laughs> sorry, I won't give it to you. I have to go now. Thank you. All right. Are you planning to tell me? Tell you what exactly? Oh, please don't even ask me. Don't. When were you planning to tell me about her? Jeez. 
you could have at least warned me before embarrassing the presence of that, that, that reporter. What exactly do you mean embarrassing you? You know I tweet about everything I do, where we go, and every time we are going out. And you know they think everybody knew we were out together. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You see, that's the problem. You put out every single detail about your life out there on social media on a daily basis. And if something goes wrong the next day, say robbery, rape, or anything of such, then you suspect the foul play. James, nobody's robbing or raping anyone. The point is, you offended me and you owe me an apology. And oh, I'm definitely going to hurt you back. J James, I'm talking to you. James! James, why are you walking out on me? Guys, you won't believe what just happened. Guys, are you there? James! James, come back, I'm talking to you. Outgoing time, but I come here once in a while to try my head sometimes. I see. So, um, do you want to join me or I join you? No, no, I think we should just continue what we were doing before I saw you. Let me keep walking and then you can. See you later. What do I keep doing wrong? Uh, she's her way. Listen. Don't push your luck right now. <laughs> so tell me, what is an aspiring novelist doing in a construction company? Well, technically, I don't work here. I became one employee a few days ago. Yeah, I was um, working on the contract business. I was hired to help sort out to pay claims and compensation to landlords. Sorry. Um, can I tell you a secret? Okay. You know, it's always been a secret dream of mine to become a hairdresser and have my own chemical company so I can use just only my products. For real? Wow, like this is the same dream I have. Like that's my dream. Wow. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's so interesting, really. expected the day to end so beautiful. Yeah, me too. You know, this morning I was not in a very good mood and then my head was just a bit messed up. But I had it to to, so I guess I'm fine now. Point of correction, you never told me anything about what was bothering you. <laughs> yes, but you know, sometimes it's not about talking about the problem. It's about finding a way to forget the problem and even the future ones. Oh, wow. And she's a philosopher, too. <laughs> How delightful. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you. Where are you going? Well, I, uh, I, thought, I thought it would be wise if I make sure you get to your destination first. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Thank you very much, but I think I'm fine from here. You say so, madam? 
And um, can I use this opportunity to get some means of contacting you? Don't worry, I'll call you. <laughs> My love not just to some and quit. Yes, me I know the tire for you. When I have a for you, I'm gossip. My love not just to some and quit. Uh -huh. Say I know the tire for you. No, you're my yamma for you. 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 My love you. My yamma for you. My yamma for you. My Well, you just uh, look a little off to me. Uh, but why are you wearing shades indoors? Something wrong with your eyes? No. Let me see. Take it off any day. Oh my god. Sylvia! Who did this to you? Uh, look, it's no one. Just, just ignore her. I'm fine. Are you fine? You're not fine. You need to tell me who did this to you. Tell me. No one. I fell. I just fell. <sighs> I think I know exactly who did this to you. But I thought you said you were not saying you anymore. I'm not. I, I can't even remember the last time I saw him when he called me. I actually thought he left town. Then how did he do this to you? I really need to know. He was here. I don't know how he found me, but he was here. You know, one of the boys in the area actually came around. I immediately this boy left. He stepped in and started asking me questions. Oh, God. But why do you and Louise allow him do this to you? Why? Why? Did you report this? What do you mean report it? He's the father of my daughter. How can I report it? What do you mean? So because he is the father of your daughter, you have to allow him to treat you like a dishwasher. You want him to kill you? He's going to kill you if you don't report this on time. Come on, look at you. Sorry. Franca, please, I'd like you to help me get um, one of those people who make the locally made hair shampoos and wash up liquid. But we already have a dozen chemists and quality control workers. Why do we need another person? 
you know, I made the locally made ones, you know, like the handmade ones with no professional help at all. <laughs> well, what exactly are you going to use that for? What I'm going to use it for, Franca, doesn't concern you. You just get one of those persons or you're fired. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? Your man, you have to carry your own press. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Are you James Walter? Um, no, yes. Um, no, have we met before? No, we've not met in person. I have read your books. I have a dozen of them. I think you're mistaken me for someone else, madam. I have never written a book in my entire life. Really? Wow, <laughs> then I must confess, you're just a double of the person I'm talking about. Okay. He's an author, a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. Hi, James. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, your friend here looks just like my favorite author. Mm. You need to find his book and read. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you love your name. Yes, I do. See you. Hi. Right, see you. Hi. Hi. I must have to get that book she's talking about. Oh. I forgot to ask her the name of the author. No worry, she comes here every weekend. I'll ask her when then she comes. So, what brings you here today? Um, nothing. I went for the interview I told you about. Oh. And I finished early, so I thought I could see my favorite friend. <laughs> well, that's nice. So, how did the interview go? It went well. You know, I know this nice place that sells this special food. Do you want to try? Wait, I, are you officially asking me out for lunch? Yes, official, madam. And I'm going to tell you all about it because I went. Okay, that's fair enough. Alright, but you have to wait for me so I can finish up the wig and make it. Yes, you know? madam. I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> Mm. Nice. I never knew you were a football fan. Technically, I'm not a football fan, but as in when I see, I consume. Mm. Okay. One day I'm going to surprise you with the recipe. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, Lisa, I know we've been friends for a while now, and I hold in high esteem. I just want you to know that things will always not be like this. This will definitely change. How do you mean? It means I am not supposed to be bringing you to places like this. I know you deserve better. I don't know this. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Why, but we're still eating. Rule number one, never associate yourself with losers or people who look down on themselves. Rule number two, never associate yourself with people that think money has gone. Please wait here, how much am I paying? How much is my money? Thank you. Thank you. Lisa. Thank you. Lisa. 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 Lis
Ouais. Alissa. 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 Alissa, please wait. Alissa. Really, I'm so, so sorry I made a comment like that. I never meant it. Hmm. That's what they all say. They don't know what came over them until they realize they messed up big time. It's not like that, Melissa. To be honest with you, I was just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with what exactly? You know, I never grew up with a real family. You know, people around me always look at me as someone different. You can never be seen as a loser unless you see yourself as one. Courageous people are never called losers. Never. Lisa, I really do like your passion and your strength. And even your courage to face reality. Please, Melissa, I want you to teach me. I don't have nobody. And I really do need someone. Learner, you know. Lina, um, I draw my courage from personal life experiences. My mom is late, and I have a younger sister that was born crippled. I'm all she has. So, I always have to be strong for her. And how about your father? What happened to him? My dad died a week before my sister was born. Yeah. I work with Sylvia. She owns the shop where I work. I actually would love to open mine, but it's not been easy. So, I, I just try to buy what I can, you know, once in a while, in bits, you know. But that would definitely work. You just have to buy the hair dryer, comb, and those other tools. And... Yeah, that's it, but it's not that easy. Um, most of the money I make goes to medication and housekeeping. So, it's not as easy as it looks, but we're pushing, we're pushing. It's okay. You know, I also have this dream to someday publish all these interesting scripts I do write. And I used to be very confident. But you know when life messes you oh, up I and no, no, no. You have to be strong. The truth is nobody cares. Nobody cares. You just have to stand up for yourself. That's the truth. I work with my friend. She owns the salon. After the production cost has been taken out monthly we share the profit 65-35. It's not the best, but it's a good start. I, I, I just deal with whatever I have. I, I work with it. And I'm not complaining. You know, I really wish I had met you earlier in life. It would have been better. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it takes many mistakes sometimes. For you to discover the same James, I I come from a very poor home. That is why I have never taken any meal point to my house. But I I just want you to see the real me. Get to know me and see how I manage to smile. It's okay, Melissa. It's all good. Come on. Oh, she's sleeping already. Oh. Please sit. Thank you very much.
Yeah, so she's my family. She's all of that. In this house, it's just me and my little sister one sister. <laughs> Your sister, she's actually very beautiful. And now I know where you get all the beautiful smile from. <laughs> Thank you. And um, so, what do I offer you? Um, can I get a glass full of your courage, some strength, and ice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> about us, about everything that's happening and I'm, I'm ready to set things right. I am ready to finance our wedding. And my father also promised to give you 50,000 US dollars after the wedding. So, you want us to get married and then you pay me? For what exactly? <sighs> well, it's not like that. It's not like paying you. It's like little money to, you know, sort things out after the wedding. Shiva, this minute, in my wardrobe, there's 170,000 US dollars I withdrew from my account yesterday that I will be donating to the church for a project. Have an idea how much I'm worth? Of course, of course I know how much you're worth. And I'm not trying to insult you. I just want to make you happy, don't you understand? You know, I'm very sorry I have to say this to your face. There's no way in the world I'm going to love you. And there's no way you're going to make me happy. Who is she? Who is that girl that is taking you away from me? Who is she? The hairdresser. What do you know about her? Nothing. But I know for a fact that she has been getting really, really close to you. And oh, I will not take it. I will not take anybody getting close to my man.
conversation we had the other time. And um, I think I can do something to actually help you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. How did you get home to like this? That doesn't matter. I mean, see your eyes later. It's supposed to be good to you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you busy, though? What did you make it to Thank you. Lisa, <laughs> are you busy at the moment? Not really, I just want to tidy up the house and get us something to eat. That's all. Because, um, I want us to progress in chemicals. Chemicals? Yes, I got a friend of mine to teach me how to make um, shampoos. So I need some chemicals to start. Oh, oh, really? Okay, let me just, um, paste it like I want to get one. Okay, um, I'll just put this over here. Yeah, that's okay. I'm telling you, he's not around. If you have any message, leave it with me. And you are who? His publicist? <laughs> His secretary? And who? His mistress? I'm sorry, madam. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, just in case he's schooling you, sweetheart. Just a little knowledge. I'm not your only. I 
condition. I just start to feel lazy and I snore. Nobody knows what triggers it. That's why I don't really allow people to come close to me. Have you been to the hospital? Yes, I have. But they keep giving me countless drugs. I'm going to take some at the moment. Can I ask you something? Yes, you are. What is your care? So the fact that you have this thing is not your fault. And besides, it doesn't really mean you shouldn't have a lot of care about you. Why do you care so much? Melissa, you know when two are mates, I'm mates at the same time. You have no friends. Alisa, I love you. I really do. Franca. Do you mind explaining to me what this is all about? Franca, <laughs> did you hire a PI to follow me around? I wish I had the person. What's going on? Or who's that girl with you in the pictures? She's just um, a girl I met some time back. Her name is Melissa. Well, we became friends. Now we... we're good. I don't care who or what you sleep with. Just let me know so I can keep it clean out of the dirt. In case you're not aware, there are people who really hate you. You like the nails? You like the way I put this down? They're okay. Ma, I've been looking at you since you walked into the space. I don't know, but you just look very familiar. But I'm, I'm not sure where I met you. I don't know if we met before. Definitely not met before. My name is Sheba. My boyfriend is a student. Oh, wow. That's nice. Um, can I ask you a question? Of course. What will your reaction be if you find your fiancé in another woman's house? Uh, um, well, um, I think first of all, I'll have to check in words. You know, just examine myself. I know if there's something I've been doing that might be pushing him away. If I do and there's nothing wrong with me, I'll just confront him, you know, ask him why he's cheating. Yes. Really? Um, I'm not done with the last one. Yeah. And the woman? The woman? I don't think I would have.
have issues with the woman. He wasn't the woman that came after the man. Most of the time, it's the man that goes after the woman. The woman may not even know that she's taking another woman's man. Yeah, you know how those men can be. They keep a lot of secrets. You know? mm -mm. I would not have any problem with the woman at all. Yeah. You like them? Hmm? You like the nails? Why? You're beautiful. Hello. How are you? I'm alright, and you? I'm fine. You're enjoying it. Yeah. Anyway. I get one to know. Yeah, so, <laughs> where is everybody now? Where is anything? Fortunately, we've made everybody stay in the country, so we are jobless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Mm -hmm. So, how are things with you and James? <laughs> how do you mean? How serious are you guys? Well, um, we're really serious, I think. And you know the most amazing part of this? Blessing is so fond of him. <gasps> Seriously. I think it's one of my greatest worries is actually fled. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> hmm. So how about his finances? Finances? Mm -hmm. How do you mean? Okay, what I mean is, do you think his financial lifestyle is safe enough for both of you? So you know your whole family depends on you. And you cannot have another dependent on that list. Yeah, um he's currently jobless. But he's actually trying to get a job. He's really hard working, like I mean really hard working. And I think I'm falling in love with him. Really? Hm. Lisa, yeah. Lisa. See you. I need a loan. Is it blessed? No, no, no. It's not blessed. Far from it. Um, it's it's something personal. Personal. Hey. Since when did me and you start personal matters now? Hey. 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 You like? Um, this is perfect actually. Um, all you have to do now for me is um, get a few of my personal belongings all just right. put here and then just make it look like my place. Good. All right. Good. All right. I have the keys, eh? All right. So yeah, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I took so long. I was looking for a cold drink. I couldn't find it any. But I promise you, I'll get a fridge in here soon. Okay? <sighs> your dream is to um, publish your books and have them on the shelves all over the world, right? 
Okay, hi. I spoke to some printing press companies and some publishers. They've agreed to publish your books, even if they've not seen them yet. And um, I got their contact, so here, yeah, you can call them. <laughs> no. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's the number. Let's call him. Please. No! This guy stood this low because of a girl. Oh, I'm going to deal with him. I'm going to squeeze life off him. Goodness! I'm here now. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you look good anyway. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, what did you wanted to tell me about? Ah, uh, well, you know, I've always wanted to have an exclusive interview with you. But you know, you are very busy, busy here, yeah, busy here and there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm in a relationship with James, right? Really? <laughs> I thought he said it doesn't have anything to do with you. Ah, uh, for that day, we had a little misunderstanding. Oh. That's why he said so. Okay. And so. He, he's dating a girl. 
and hairdresser for that matter. A local, cheap, low life girl. And she has epilepsy. Shiva? Yes. That's a very huge allegation. You have proof of all this enemy There you go. Everything you want is in there. I could even give you a number and a house address if you want. What is going on with you? What are you talking about, Franca? I mean the fact that you seem too distracted from almost everything. Franca, on the contrary, I've never been this focused before in my entire life. I feel more needed than ever. What do you mean you feel more needed? Do you remember the mystery lady? Yeah. Mm, at least, all right. Mm -hmm. She's the one that's been taking all my time. Franca, you need to meet this lady. She's an idol. Hmm. It's good to see you talk about a girl like this. I'm tired of the numerous stories about Shiba's behavior. Oh, Melissa is the exact opposite of everything Shiba is. 
A quick reminder, you have a meeting in Dubai on Saturday in the morning. What's that about again? The annual general meeting for all marketers. Mm. That's how we able to make that meeting. I have a lot to attend to. But I'm thinking, why not you just go represent me? You know, that's not possible, right? It's Melissa. I'm just coming. Oh, hi, Jay. Melissa. Yeah. I didn't know you were coming. I'm sorry. I, I tried calling your phone, but it wasn't going through. It's all right. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. from those people you um, sent your application to? Oh. I've heard nothing yet from them. But today I went to the uh, factory at the industrial area to check if they had anything at all. Because I'm just looking for any work at all. Just yeah. something to pay my mom's hospital bills for. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're taking those steps, you know, trying to get something to do. Um, have you thought of teaching or maybe this hotel work? Okay, sure, sure. Because I, I, I'm ready to do anything. Hotel, cleaning, restaurant, work, whatever. Just, you know, to get this bill sorted out. Yeah, you know, that's how to start. Little by little, you can save up money and then you can open your own publishing firm. Speaking of moms, how is your mom? Um, I spoke to them earlier on today. Okay. And, um, I think we should fix a day to go see her. Oh, okay, that would be nice. Yeah. That's cool. Everything will be fine. Okay. Thank you. I never thought things will turn out this way. I don't know what it is about. But I feel there is something else. He is so charming and focused. I just wish it will remain like this forever. James, I think I love you. Yes, hello, Franco. I'm sorry I missed your call and I forgot to return the call. Oh, okay. I'll check right away. Sure.
she wouldn't say. I can live with the fact that you're dating an hairdresser. But she having that kind of condition is totally... Franca, if you make one violent comment about her medical condition or about Melissa, you wouldn't like me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. She doesn't really know who I am. But she trusts me so much. I don't want to find out about who I am this way or even about her medical condition. You know what? I'll fix it. Make it go away, Franca. I'll speak to Tracy and see what we can do. Okay. Dad. Yeah, I wish I had enough money to live the kind of life James is living. He lives the double life just to find out who, who really loves him. Huh. But, um, Frank, have you thought about the pain that he makes this woman go through? I mean, look at Shiva. Just look at what he's making her go through. Just imagine it. Is it fair? He doesn't love her yet, he would not let her be. I, I don't understand. Are you trying to say that what Shiva does to James is fair? What exactly is she doing to him? Let me know. Look, you should stop all this baseless argument. Right? Because it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. That's the way she is. That's how that, that's her life. So you should either stay with it or leave her. Mr. Walter. So I've been waiting for your calls long enough. I know. I never expected to be the one making the call very soon. I would like to know all you know about Melissa. What exactly do you want to know? Everything. And the rest assured, if you cooperate with me, we could be very good friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll think about it. Rest of my life 
with a woman who cares about nothing except what she wears and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, Shiva. Really, I am sorry. Shiva, I'm sorry. James. James. Hello? Where are you? Listen to me. I want those pictures and medical reports. I want you to give all the media houses in this country. And I want that picture to be at every newspaper stand by day. Yes. Give everybody, bloggers, give, give, give all the media. Give everybody. Give everybody. As usual, you will never fall for it. Not at all. I intend to keep playing my low life adventure and eventually get married to Melissa. She can go ahead and do whatever she likes. Um, I was thinking of organizing a press conference so we can clear the misconception. Hmm. I think I'll personally do the conference myself when I get back from Dubai. Okay. Please. Remember to sign the document and also read the reports before you leave tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Frank. Uh -huh. Uh, something happened this morning, and um, I would have to leave for the village first thing tomorrow morning as well. What is it? Is it your mom? Yes. <gasps> she was she was rushed to the hospital this morning, and I need to go see her. My auntie as well says she needs surgery. If not, it's gonna get worse. Oh so I need to just go quickly hustle so I can. There's something to leave tomorrow. What is all this? What is all this? So, so what are you going to do? Hustle? How? How are you going to hustle? What are you going to do exactly? I don't know. Borrow? Work? Whatever I can do to raise something meaningful for myself. Yeah. That's what to go, Lisa, okay? Okay. Do you like your hair? <laughs> okay, we're done. <sighs> All right, take care of you. Oh my. <sighs> Ah, Gibbs, are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong now? Babe, I really need to go. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Is he blessing? No, but I'll tell you when I come back, please. I really need to go.
Yes, Nessa. What is the matter? I am on my way. Lisa, I just left and you called me back. Is everything okay? Yeah. Is blessing okay? Yes, everyone is fine. Okay, I'm here. Can we go inside? No, 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 no. I, I need to make it snappy so you can go back. It's getting it. You know, um, I had to call you. You know, maybe I haven't had the courage to say it from the beginning, but now I... I have the courage. James, I love you. I really do love you. I, I just wish I could cause the universe to, to make you smile like every single day. I I just wish you could be happy all the time. Yes, sir. I know you. Please. Let me finish. I sold. I sold the hair dryer. Please, don't be mad at me. I just had to do it. Your mom's health is, is more important than anything else. I can always get another dryer. Yeah, this is a little money I I got from it. It's my support for your mom's surgery.
He was the last one. He was the last person I saw last night. <gasps> he raped me. How could he do this to me? James Water. I'm sure this is all his plan. He asked his boys to rape me and take pictures of me so he could blackmail me. How could he? How could he do this to me? How could he do this to me? How could he do this to me? Um, excuse me. Hey. Chris, what book is that? It's a new novel by James Walter. Um, please, can I see it? Available in all bookstores. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, but where did you get this one exactly? There is this bookstore around um, Randall Street. Randall Street. Oh. I, I know Randall. Oh, yeah, I can, can get this one there right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Bless me, I beg your 
Jacob. Bless him. Bless him. Oh, God. Bless him. 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 Please, Jacob. Jacob. Bless him. No more No more